Thank you for joining the Kim Caldwell Show. I am not the correspondent today. I am blessed to be able to have my daughter, Callie Rose McDuffie, covering this event. Where are we? We're in West Oakland at the old train station celebrating Mayor Libby Schaaf's 50th birthday. And she just so happens to be the 50th mayor. And tonight she'll be giving away 50 scholarships to 50 students here in Oakland. Thank you for joining the Kim Caldwell Show. I am California Rose with the Kim Caldwell Show. Now tonight I am corresponding for West Wind Artists. Tonight's event we are celebrating Mayor Libby Schaaf's 50th birthday party. Now not only are we celebrating her 50th birthday party, but we are also celebrating the fact that she's the 50th mayor. Theme, she's giving away 50 scholarships to 50 of our young lucky youth from our Bay Area community. Thank West Wind Artists for letting me cover this event. I am with Mr. Dwayne Wiggins from Tony, Tony, Tony. So what are we celebrating tonight? Life. We are celebrating, we're always celebrating that, you know. And you call me Mr. Dwayne Wiggins. I love that. That's very adult, adult of yourself. But you know, we're celebrating the mayor's, uh, Libby Schaaf. It's her 50th birthday. So she is, it's her 50th birthday. She's the 50th mayor of Oakland. And she's sending 50 students a full scholarship to college all the way. And so that's, it's a fundraiser for that. And I think I'm, um, I'm blown away by that. I mean, I really dig this mayor because she's, you know, using her birthday to celebrate and give back. That's big. Yeah, yeah that's a great opportunity. Because you know me, my birthday, I'd be like, I'm only celebrating me. <laughs> and it's benefiting <laughs> Wayne. And here we go. No, seriously, I'm honored to be a part of this. And so the production is, hey, I got a group called Sisters Keeper from Oakland, California. That was part of our summer camp. And they did a fabulous job on a PSA for the Oakland, oh, excuse me, the California drought. And I have Mr. Uh, Fantastic Negrito closing out. And I have a group from Oakland School of the Arts by the name of Vocal Rush. Uh, they're like the hip-hop version of Manhattan Transfer. And of course, you know, myself, I'm going to do my thing. And I brought a gentleman that was actually the drum teacher for our summer camp. Come on, man, this is Jeremiah. Go on and let him say hello. Don't be, don't be shy. Yeah, this gentleman uh, helped out a lot with some of the stuff that's going on in production tonight, but he was uh, a drum teacher for our six-week summer camp at the Tony School of Music. So yes, sir. Let him know about yourself, good man. I'm Jeremiah Cobbs. Uh, I taught Dwayne summer camp. Tony Summer yeah. Music, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I had a blast. I was honored to teach one of the drummers for the Sisters Keeper Band, Delia, great worker. Just an amazing experience. Yes, you sir. know what I like about this gentleman? It's like, he's from Oakland, California. Youngster, 18, he shows up at my studio and then, you know, he just took charge, moving around and everything. But I asked him, I said, so what, who are you and where have you been? He told me about his group, but he said he was on the road with Zendaya. Yes, sir. for two tours and I'm like and you're from Oakland I mean you must really play and he turned out to be a very organized young man and had his own sort of a uh, drum curriculum right for uh, and so it worked within uh, the Tony School of Music I mean right now it's official because we have a um, nonprofit it's called Youth Aid nonprofit out of Oakland California but it's like it's really we decided to make a, a, a nonprofit fold to what the Tonys have been doing for many years we develop groups as the Destiny's Child and the, the Keisha Coles and working with Alicia so it's been my passion to really just give back to the next generation and make sure we you know we we preserve our culture and our music and that's what the Tony School of Music does overall yeah. that's incredible I remember the first time I met Sundaya she's a wonderful yeah, person yeah yeah yes she's good people right oh yeah yes it's good to be here so it should be nice tonight Anna Hughes <laughs> so what's your important role today um, so I am here representing the East Bay College Fund, and we are um, the, one of the nonprofit recipients of the mayor's wonderful birthday gift tonight. So um, we're just here to uh, you know, celebrate the mayor and celebrate the 50 kids that she wants to put through um, college. We are a scholarship organization that provides more than just a four-year scholarship, college scholarship. We also provide um, college advising, mentoring, peer assistance um, all throughout the four years of college and so we're just here today to to be a part of this wonderful event and to celebrate the mayor's birthday. <laughs> well thank you so much your program seems amazing to me. Thank you, great to be here. Thank you, thank you. 
Raul Suarez with the Third Year Sound Company. Now, can I just give props to him for setting up this amazing production package? I mean, look at this. <laughs> so, how did you become an, an engineer? I used to play guitar a long time ago, and once upon a time, I found that I could uh, make more people happy doing this than playing guitar. I used to play guitar. It's an amazing instrument. What has been your career path to this point? Uh, pretty much self-taught. Started in college. Uh, did for a lot of friends uh, and college, other college bands. Uh, started working. Got to work for Real X and uh, worked for many people that you would know along the way. And uh, done thousands of shows with lots of people that you know. Journey for a while. We've done everybody that you can think of, from BB King to Metallica to uh, Dwayne Wiggins. And I'm here with. Hi, my name is Darrell Davis. Okay, so what is your important role here for tonight? Uh, for as of right now on the stage, I'm just like a stage tech. I help out with the production, the setup, uh, getting everything in place, making sure that they understand Dwayne's uh, commands, things like that, making sure the show runs smoothly, pretty much. Well, it sounds like you have a very important job. Yeah, uh, somewhat important, you know. I just make sure everything runs smooth, you know. There's a uh, small part of a big puzzle, pretty much. I uh, started off, I went to college for this, uh, the Los Angeles Film School for a couple years. So when I graduated from that, I got my degree in the engineering science of recording arts. So, uh, you know, got in touch with Duane and then started off interning. And then as things started pro uh, to progress, I'm the, now the manager of the Mind Seed Studios and I'm a sound engineer there myself. And it's pretty much, you know, I pretty much how it started. How did you find out about Mind Scene and what do you guys do there? I found out about Mind Seed through Dwayne Wiggins. Um, we are a, like a sound stage, so we uh, handle commercials and video production, studio time, uh, any type of entertainment, anything re uh, revolving around the industry and that such. Uh, we're located in East Oakland. Uh, we used to, um, the people that founded the place, uh, one of the gentlemen did the sounds for Miss Pac-Man, so that's kind of some history in it, uh, history in Oakland. It's been there since like the 70s, 80s, so. That's awesome. What's your dream job? My dream job, um, I just, my dream job would be never have to work a day in my life, you know. But, in, you know, at the same time, having a job doing things, resolving around music, things I love, you know, means I'm not working necessarily. So I just, I like to be comfortable, you know. Mu anything resolving around music, pretty much. Awesome. It was nice meeting you. Thank you for your time. Nice to meet you, too. I am California Rose, and tonight I am with Annette. So, Annette, what is your important role here tonight? Uh, we did the uh, decorating for the event. Some of the decorating was collaborative effort and uh, worked with a lot of uh, great talent here tonight. So, what was your pathway? What did it take to get here? Uh, we had a lot of meetings, a lot of walkthroughs here at this beautiful venue, and um, we met with the mayor and ran everything by her to make sure she liked what we were doing. Seems like you have a lot of passion in this work. Yeah, we love what we do. That's why we put in the long hours. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And it's everything is beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, the set design is so beautiful. Oh. Look at all this artwork and graffiti, just of years of history. Okay, I think we're going into the party. I see people. for joining the Kim Caldwell Show. I just wanted to give a mad shout out to West Wind Artists for allowing us to be able to cover Mayor Libby Schaaf's 50th birthday celebration. We got you, West Wind.